The Twelve Dancing Princesses by Rachel Isadora. The Twelve Dancing Princesses, written by the Grimm Brothers and illustrated by Rachel Isadora. There was once a king who had twelve beautiful daughters. Wow. They slept each night in a locked room. But every morning, their shoes were worn through as if they had danced all night. The king made it known that whoever discovered where the princesses went at night could choose a princess for his wife. If after three tries they failed, they would lose their life. Many tried and failed. One day, a soldier traveling on the road met an old woman. She asked where he had headed, where he was headed. He told her that he was going to try and discover the secret of the, of the princesses. That's not difficult, she said, but you must not drink the wine brought to you, and you must pretend to be asleep. She gave him a cloak. With this, you'll be invisible, and you can follow the princesses without being seen. She said goodbye and went on her way. The soldiers went to the king. The soldier went to the king and was led to a room attached to the princesses. He did not drink the wine that was brought to him, and he pretended to snore. When the princess heard the soldier snore, they laughed and quickly got up and got dressed. Believing the soldier had fallen fast asleep, the eldest princess went to her bed and tapped it. Suddenly, it sank into the floor and the princesses ran down a dark passageway. The soldier went on, put on his cloak and followed them. The youngest prin princess thought she heard someone following them. Don't be silly. There is no one there, said the oldest. Soon the princesses reached a grove of trees and silver leaves, and they came to one of the golden leaves and one of diamond leaves. The soldier broke off a twig of each. They came to a lake where twelve were, wait where twelve princes were waiting in twelve boats. The invisible soldier sat in the boat with the youngest princess, and the prince wondered why it was difficult to row. They all reached the other side, where there was lights and music. Everyone danced under twinkling stars. The princesses danced and danced until their shoes were danced through when they could not dance any longer. The princes rowed them back to the shore, where all promised to meet the next night. The soldier ran ahead of the princesses, found him sound asleep when they returned. He followed them the next two nights, and on the last night he took a cup away with him. The time arrived for the soldier to speak with the king. There, where do my twelve daughters go at night? The king asked. To a place underground where they dance for twelve princesses, the soldier replied. And he told the king what he had seen and showed him the three cups, three branches in the cup. The king called his daughters and asked if the soldiers spoke the truth. Knowing that their secret had been discovered, they confessed. The soldier chose the oldest prince, princess for his wife, as he was not very young. They were married that very day. And everyone danced and danced all through the night. The end. The Twelve Dancing Princesses.